Good afternoon all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Monday afternoon, June 13th. We're looking at Window Traders market profile of SPY, IWM, and Triple Qs. So another big, big hit for the market today as Russell and Qs closed down 5%. We closed down 4%. Uh, there is still another silver lining for the bulls. We have a 10 wide pocket again, all three of us. So very interesting. We have a huge gap down. We never get back above it. Never see A's high again, yet we go 10 wide, just like we went 11 wide on Friday, right? I said, was that long-term money buying Friday? I don't know. They let it down again if that was the case. So just very interesting note with these wide pots. We have not held the trend day down since Thursday late, late afternoon with those two large sets of single prints, right? Since then, we have two big gaps, Friday and today, yet no single prints held. So that's pretty interesting. 145 million on the tape. Excellent volume again. We did 130 something million on Friday. So with the after hours, we're going to be doing over 150 million. Excellent range again. Um, with an $8.51 range. Had a good day today. We called this day very well. The only part of this day that threw me for a little bit of a loop was as was how high G got. That's it. I know you have to respect how they can move it. That was the only loss I had in that in that time frame. Nailed them the rest of the day, though, uh, all day. So I took one long. I, well, believe it or not, I wanted to take a long on the opening. I thought we'd get an inventory adjustment right away. I tried to get long, couldn't get it. Ripped up real quick for about close to $2. Never got it. After that, I only took one long in K period once. I shorted. So I did nothing in A. I shorted B. Started shorting the opening in B a bunch of times with the uh, 382 and the 379 puts. Did well on that. Shorted C with the 379 puts with the single prints. Then in D, got myself in a little bit of trouble early. I didn't mind that they were going to fill C single prints, but I didn't expect them to rip as much as they did. I started to short, not at D or C's lows, probably between B and C's uh B's low and C's low in the middle. I started a small short. But when they filled C single prints, I did put on a nice, uh, put on a 50 lot. Well, it started going against me pretty good, and I got it up. We got to half back at the time, which is just around where D's high was, and I was up to 375 puts when it finally backed off and paid me very, very nicely of the 378 puts. I had 375 of them and got paid nicely. Then in F, I took a, a short, thinking it might be the afternoon rally high against the opening. Got paid on those. That was uh, 381 puts. Did it again in G, but this time when it popped above the opening pretty good, took it off for a loss. I period. I said, okay, we backed off a lot in G. I'm taking that short against the opening I. Did that. Worked out beautifully. 382 puts. And then it got rotational with a lot of chop. So in K period, I took a long basically against B's low and E's low, the 376 calls, which paid me. I did nothing in L or M period, but I had a very good day overall. As far as our destinations, upside, we have a lot more again. Price probe, uh, D's, uh, was it L's low or D's low? Actually, it's D's low. I wrote down the wrong thing because D was the low. 374.90. Oh no, I wrote it right. Yeah, 374.93 is the price probe. D's low. That's our first upside destination. Then we have 10 wide. It got lowered as low as it can go to F's low. 377.84, and then nothing to today's high of 381.81, and filling the gap of 389.75. That's just on the eight dollars. That's a huge gap. And the other gap from the other day is $5.66. So large gaps above. Downside, today's low, 373.30, 372.64 daily low, 371.88 monthly low, 371.42 monthly low, 368.27 weekly low, 368.05 daily low, 364.82 monthly low, and 362.03 monthly low. I will not be repeating those again. I still think we have a very good chance of getting those two monthly lows in the 371 level. 
We'll see if those provide some kind of buffer to stop the downfall. If they don't, then we should go to those low 362 uh, monthly lows at some point. We're going to have a tremendous amount of catalysts this week, okay? Um, we have uh, PPI tomorrow, Fed on Wednesday, ex-dividend Thursday night spy, quadruple expiration on Friday. We had a great look. When the market free falls like it did A through D, believe me, I'm keeping my room out of trouble. This is a live webinar every day for a dollar a day. Seriously, come check us out at countbacktrading.org. Thanks for the likes and subscribing to this YouTube channel. Rest up, enjoy your evening, and we will speak prior to the opening tomorrow. You know what? Hold on a second. I hope you guys are still there. I didn't even show you the uh, charts. I'm losing my mind. I have a consultation, but let me show you the charts real quick. There's the monthly. Took out last month's low. Okay? Down. Weekly. Down. Gap is my main focus. Daily. Down. Gaps with an S are my main focus. Now have a good evening, and we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.